guys, Lazy here, and basically I'm gonna make um tell you how to make your own stress ball, stress ball. Okay, so I have this little tool thing that helps me blow up the balloons, but if you don't have that, then it's okay, just blow it up. Um, so I'll just use this tool thing. Or you can ask a parent, because you know, maybe you don't even know how to. Okay, so I can even do it. Okay, sorry. So Basically, you just blow it up to the amount you want your stress ball in, okay? So, and you're going to be adding, you can add rice, flour. Um, I'm adding this. And make sure that if you feel like good, like you can, it's a stress ball. Okay, don't add like cereal, no. Um, and make sure to ask your parents before you do this because, you know, it could get messy and get... They could be like, what are you doing? And then you're like, oh, okay. So, yeah, so I'm just going to blow mine up to the amount I want them in. Um, or you can just, I'm just not going to blow it up, but you can blow it up like, you can blow it up like that. Is that is, that's the amount. But, oh, <laughs> my stress ball is going to be tiny. So, just, I'm just going to lay it like up. So, you take your stress ball, then, well, your balloon, and you open it up like a lap. Well, you leave it there, and then you open whatever is there. And if you can't, like, do it that well, ask your parent, like, let's say you're using flour. Um, it, you might not be able to use that that well, so... Or you could just put them. I'm actually going to do a mix. I think rice and these little seeds. So, yeah, these seeds, look how tiny they are. I mean, you can barely see them. Like, I'm going to drop all of them. So, I'll be back when it's, like, something full. And I'll be back when I get to the rice. Okay, guys, I just noticed something. So, instead of just leaving mine out here... Um, your balloon out here. You can like put it in and you can like just dip it. Like, just like dip it in. Although it's not working out today. It's so hard. And time. So my progress is not that good. Time for the rest part. So you don't need to like fill it up fully. I just filled it up like this because it was getting messy. And then I'm just gonna do the rice. See, I just put it in so like you know it doesn't scatter everywhere. And then I just do this. Then see, it's a mix combined. I might use a little flour. I'll tell you though. If you do add flour, put it in the bowl. Sorry, I did not film the part where I mix the flour with those little small beads and right the rice, which is right there. Um, I couldn't because first of all, it was really, really, really messy. I'll show you that in a second. Like really messy. And, yeah, I had to get three bowls. One, I had to put one flour. Like, I'll show you. So, I just drew a face on it, but <laughs> I had to put um, one bowl of flour in that. And then this bowl, well, it was holding the balloon because I didn't want it to get messy. But I needed another balloon for that. So, yeah, I wasted a lot of flour and, like, left some marks so yeah yeah it, it's really soft though. so yeah um it's actually so basically I mix this stuff Hold on. okay so I mix this stuff um if you you probably can't you probably don't know what that is but it's like these little beads that are food that you can make. It's really good. Rice, dried rice, dried white rice. You can use use any colored rice, but I used white rice. 
And then I use some flour. Flour, so this like makes it, the flour makes it like squishy, like get, if you have flour, like get it and like make a little tiny piece and like swirl it around and yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll, um, yeah, so this is it. And uh, I think it's pretty good. It feels like, yeah, it's actually really, really squishy. I'll film that because the fan, the camera's around. But I need to put this away and this mess. So yeah, I'll get back to that. Remember to do this on your table, which I'm doing. Um, Cause if you do on the carpet, stained uh, floor mess, and like someone could be like, step in that, or like, why are you down the table? Um, so yeah, and I'm my mom already knows this, about this, but my dad and my brother are at a soccer game, so it didn't really leave a stain. I'll film that. Like I said it didn't really leave a stain. There's just some um flower dust left. But yeah, not that big of a deal. But like I said, I'm doing this on the table. So yeah, and my mom's gonna tie this, so let's see how it turns out. Okay, <laughs> so this is how it turned out. Like I said, it, the flower, well, I didn't say, but the flower is gonna like, wants to pop out like really bad. Maybe I shouldn't add the flower, but when you stress just squeeze a lot. It makes so yeah, it actually feels really soft. Like I feel like it's gonna explode. If it does, oh my gosh. See it makes a bubble. It actually feels like really soft. Like if you match just oh done. Yeah, like really, really soft. Super soft, actually. Yeah, if you're wondering what like it has on it, it's just where I got it from. Because um, I got my braces off, and that's where I got it. This balloon was big, but now it's small. <laughs> Don't worry, I can I can always like untie it, maybe, but probably not. It's just, just ball. Yeah, so. The flower makes it like really puffy and like smooth. And the rice just makes it like squishable. I don't know. So maybe I shouldn't have added the um, flowering because okay. So the flower when I squish it up, the flower because when I ever like when I did that, the flower like bursted up when it wasn't tied. But now like it wants to go up. That's why it's making these little bubbles, which is really cool. So yeah. <laughs> Ugh, I could like lay on this like good night. Then in the morning, like pops. I'm just kidding. So, hope you enjoyed this vid. Please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you made one of these and what did you put in it. And oh wow, I can see the flower. Yeah, I don't know if you could see that. So yeah, subscribe if you're new and just subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.